Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about when tooth regeneration could become publicly available, a timeline. Okay guys, because I know you're really needing this information, so we got the breakdown. All right. And it looks like the actual Lipus technology from Canada, the ultrasound, it stands for low intensity pulsating ultrasound. They, they've been testing from 2000 to 2024 and it looks like they're saying <laughs> that it could be available by 2026 but technically it already is available because you can actually get this device that's I'll put a link guys I'll put a link to the device it's from Canada that you can get in the description all right, so lipus has been proven to stimulate stem cells in animal early dental studies expected to reach dental repair applications before full tooth regrowth. Dental repair, okay. So right now, I guess they're using it for dental repair. So if you guys need repair, I know some of you are all about your ultrasound, so go at it. All right, so the next thing, um, 2030, which was confirmed by... Toragem Biopharma, we got the USAG1 inhibitor drug. I know a lot of you guys want to hear more about this. Look, they've been testing since 2021, um, so not too, too long ago. And 2030 is when they think, and they're testing on humans right now. It could be sooner, guys. A lot is happening. This is the most advanced approach the Japanese drug could trigger entire new tooth growth in humans. Could It does trigger, guys. It does. They're doing it. But, I mean, I, have I heard that they actually grew a tooth in these people? I think they have. I don't know if they've said it yet, actually. All right, so the next one is going to be only coming out between 2032 and 2035. And we got the stem cell therapy. Um, pulp regener tooth pulp regeneration. So they've been testing it since 2005. All right, USA and China. And a couple of notes. Um, already used for root and dentin regeneration. Full tooth reconstruction may take another decade. So they're already um, doing the dentin and root. If you can recreate the root, come on, guys. So that's already out, basically. But they said, you know, for... Let's go back to... We're in the publicly available. When is it publicly available? That's what the video's about. Guys, We I have a lot of videos about all this kind of stuff. So check through the videos. There's a bunch of stuff. And a couple of videos ago, we went through each of these <clears throat> countries and what they're doing. Sorry, guys. I might my drink. <clears throat> Damn, my throat. Okay. <clears throat> We're getting through, guys. We're getting through. All right. So then we got the pig tooth. I really want to get more into this pig tooth thing because this is funny. 2002 to 2000. They've been doing this since 2002. Come on, guys. So they're saying between 2030 and 2033, we're going to have the pig tooth scaffold and biocomposite. So let's get into details. So we've got bioengineered scaffolds from pig dentin are advancing, but immune safety testing is ongoing. Yeah, immune, can you imagine having like a tooth ahead in a pig? I don't know about this one, guys. I'll take my chances with my coconut oil. Anyways, but for all you guys who want to get real about it. All right, so we've got 3D printing. I mean, duh. <laughs> USA, China, prototype, prototype preclinical and they're saying it's going to be between 2034 and 2038 so guys that's only like 10 years we gotta hold on strong for that one 3d bioprinting of dental tissue has been demonstrated in lab conditions but human safety trials are still years away no they're probably doing it already i think all right then we got gene therapy for two three growth they started in 2020, and they're saying it's going to be between, oh, Japan. Like, isn't this the same thing as the drug? 2038 and 2040. What? Gene therapy. It's focused on reactivating embryonic tooth development genes 
WNTSHH could yield biological regrowth in the late in the late in the 2030s. So it's saying USA and China and Japan. So three different, you know, they're, you know, you know, they be competing guys. They're competing. So they better hurry up so they can be like, we did it first. Japan's doing a lot, guys. Japan's next level. Their internet speed. Oh, wait, no, is that Korea? South Korea? All right, guys. So quantum, the quantum one, it's been going since 2018. Quantum frequency regeneration approaches. So this is going to be more stuff we talk around on this channel too. Because it's, it's, I believe in quantum physics. I'm big into quantum physics. It, basically, what you think becomes reality. If you want to think you have a new tooth, you can have a new tooth. 2035 involves electromagn <laughs> electromagnetic. Oh my god, I need to fix that. <laughs> electromagnetic and quantum stimulation, not clinically proven, but being studied alongside bioengineering medicine. What? All right, guys, let's do a little summary. We got a summary. So near term, we got the ultrasound and the Japanese USAG one drug. Those are the two most promising candidates for real-world availability. Midterm, we got the stem cell-based tooth growth with a public to enter public dental treatments. So 2030, a lot's going to be starting, guys. Um, and then long-term, we got the gene therapy, advanced 3D bioprinting. Uh, may allow for full biological teeth regrowth on demand. So guys, we're only 10 years away. For like to just grow a tooth like that. That's me snapping my fingers. Alright. Guys, this is like this is scholarly GPT, just so you know. They believe. At least GPT believes now. But I got them to make a nice little thing to show you guys. Um just go through it one more time. And I just want to say thanks for joining in. Uh, check out my last two videos. I got my own protocol how to grow new teeth with <clears throat> like coconut oil pulling and mewing and uh, vitamins, belief. And I'm going to be doing an extreme video. And in that extreme video, I'm going to be giving out the um, link if you want to get this ultrasound thing because it's technically already out, these ultrasound devices. And I think I know which one to recommend. Or one you can buy that's similar, you can look into it. Um, but guys, I'm not making any money on this channel or anything, so I'm not going to be taking any sort of affiliate affiliate type stuff. But um, I will put a link, though, um, for Buy Me A Coffee if you guys want to see exclusive content for like $2 and stuff. I got a dollar one, a $2 one. Um, I'm going to be putting some cool stuff. I'm actually going to be doing a podcast where it's like kind of like a radio where it's audio. I'm going to be turning all my videos into audio, um, a lot of them, and making special podcasts just for you guys for like a dollar a month or two dollars or some bullshit. So if you do want to support, that'd be great, but I'm not here to make money on this information. I'm just here to be a journalist and spread the, um, the actual information of what's going on. So get ready, guys. We got a couple years away. We got this U.S. AG1. I think next video we're going to be talking a lot about this because a lot of people want to hear about it. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching my video and uh, definitely check out my other videos because there's a lot of good information. A lot of good information. I appreciate it, guys. Peace and love.